Hey guys, I'm just gonna show you how I varnish with the Tri Art liquid glass. There's the, the bottle. It says pouring medium, but it can also be used as a top coat. <clears throat> so I put four tablespoons of the liquid gold in this cup and two tablespoons of water. So that would be um, two ounces of the liquid gold and one ounce of water. Um, I put my bottle in a container with warm water before just to warm it up. Otherwise it's kind of tacky, kind of like resin if it gets cold. Um, this is 11 by 14 canvas. First you're gonna wanna tape the sides Leave a little bit just to catch it when you tilt it. Um, it's a terrible tape job. And I'm using this one because I already taped it up just to show an example. Um, and then you want to secure the back with like some cardboard or whatever you can rig up together. Um, okay, so mix it up. See how liquidy it is. I mean, it's it's like water. Okay, so then you're just going to want to pour it right in the center. I hope you guys can see this. I, I've never done a video before. And just tilt around. And you're going to have like some little holes and patches and just kind of work with it. It gives you more time to work with it too when you dilute it. And really, it, I mean, it still dries just as clear. If you kind of like let it build up on one side, it helps with those little little spots that it skips over. There we go. And you can just use the tape kind of like a, you know, a little thing to hold the hold it up. Okay. Obviously, I can't talk and do this at the same time. I mean, you gotta just kind of let it keep working with it. But I mean, it's super simple. You just gotta be patient. I also like to do the <clears throat> tape around the edges up higher too because it gives it a little depth. But take the tape off before it's completely dry so you can, you, know, you can kind of run it. I'm just kind of filling in these little holes and we'll go back over it. Kind of wet it. I have paint all over my nails, so disregard it. Hope you guys can see how that's going. If you do just the liquid glass, like it's it's thick and it kind of just it goes, you can't work with it for very long, so then it doesn't really get on there evenly on bigger canvases. If it's a tiny canvas, like I mean, this isn't even a bigger one, but if it's a tiny canvas, you you just pour it on there and tilt it. It's not really self-leveling, but once you once you get it all covered, you know, just put it on a level surface and let it sit. If you don't secure the back, I have noticed like if it if the canvas sags in the middle, it will dry cracked. It looks like shattered glass when it dries. I think I had the one that dried like that. If I can show you guys. Okay, so we pretty much let's see, I think we got it all. Yep. Make 
make sure all your edges are done. So when you take your tape off, I'd say like 30 minutes, take your tape off and then just, you can use like the, the leftover tiny bit in your cup and just dip, dip your finger or your glove, whatever, in it and just run, it, run your finger on the edges and it'll give it a nice gloss. And that's pretty much it. I hope this helped you guys. Um, let me see if I can get that one that shattered. This is the one that I did that dried kind of shattered. I don't know if you can see that. I tried to fix it, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Anyway, I hope this works out for you guys. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.